Now, since we have already covered in detail what is near and rear and its calculation and its implication on different dynamics, let us try to answer one UPSC question. An increase in nominal effective exchange rate indicates appreciation of rupee. This question, this statement you can only solve if you have clarity on exact methodology how near is calculated. If you follow the wrong trend that is going throughout in different materials, different YouTube channels, in the market, you are always going to get this statement wrong. How near is related to appreciation of rupee? You need to have a basic understanding on the formula of the new. That is nothing but E by EI always to WI. WI is the weightage. E is number of SDR you are getting for 1 rupee. So it is 10 say and EI is number of SDR you are getting for one dollar say it is 100 it becomes 0 0.1 now rupee appreciates that means you will now get more dollars for no more as dias for one rupee say it is 20 divided by hundreds because then it is 0 0.2 so as rupee appreciates rupees one how many as dias you can get with one rupee increases from 10 to 20 your near value changed from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 so as it Increase in near value indicates exactly that there is appreciation of rupee or appreciation of domestic currency. This statement is absolutely correct. Now, an increase in the real effective exchange rate indicates improvement in trade competitiveness. I already told real effective exchange stress rate is indeed an indicator of trade competitiveness. But an increase, you see, a country's rear is 90. That means for producing a X number of good, the country has to consume this much of currency. Now, if it becomes 100 means, now the country has to consume 100 amount of currency to produce the same number of goods. So, what does it in indicate? Earlier, lesser currency may goods been jata tha. Ab now it requires more currency. So, the current trade competitiveness is decreasing with increasing rate. This is a wrong statement. An increasing trend in domestic inflation relative to inflation in other countries is likely to cause an increasing divergence between near and rear. That is exactly correct because near rear is technically nothing but inflation adjusted near. You add the inflation elements into it, you will get rear. So in this context, there is higher the divergence between inflation in two countries, higher is going to be the divergence between near and rear. So this is an absolutely correct statement. So what you are left with answer is 2 is a wrong statement. Answer is C, 1 and 3 only. That's all for now. Thank you.